of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Oh, hi, Norma. Oh, hi, Rick. Uh, are you sure this is permitted? Am I sure what's permitted? Well, studying on the campus. It might give the school a bad name. I'm afraid I'll have to take a chance on that. My English professor is one of those unreasonable people who give tests at the most inopportune times, like tomorrow, for instance. Well, in that case, I have a great idea. Well, like what? How would you like to go to a show with me tonight? I can't. I told you the test is tomorrow. I have to study for it. Well, what's the course? Freshman English? That's right. Who is it, Professor Lewis? Yes, and I understand he's real tough. Oh, somebody's been kidding you. Uh, I've had two courses with him, and he gives easy tests. Well, that's not what I heard. Well, have you been doing your work every day? Well, most of the time. Well, then you've got nothing to worry about. Sometimes it's a lot better to relax the night before a test. Get your mind off it. Well, I suppose I could go to an early show and study a little when I got back. Well, sure. No, I'd better not. Oh, why not? Come on, I'll pick you up at 7.30. Well, okay. I still think I ought to stay home and study. 7.30. Rick? 7.30. More potatoes, Rick? Oh, no thanks, Mom. Well, what are you studying there? Well, I'm sorry. I know this isn't very polite, but I, I figured I'd better look over this assignment. Well, what course is it? History. Uh, what do you know about the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo? I hope he's asking you. <laughs> well, it has something to do with Mexico. It wasn't it a treaty between the United States and Mexico? Well, yeah, I think so. Oh, I'll look it up. Oh, well, that's okay, Buck. Well, I'm kind of interested myself. Pardon me. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to get this out of the way. I have a date tonight. What time? Uh, 7.30. Oh, it's almost that now. Yeah, I know. I gotta get out of here. Uh, would you save my dessert for me? Oh, all right. Don't stay out too late now. You'll fall asleep in class tomorrow. No, I won't be late. Bye, Mom. Good night, dear. What happened to Rick? Oh, he had to leave. He has a date. Well, uh, what about Guadalupe Hidalgo? I, 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 I know. Uh, let him get his own dates. <laughs> time the show gets out. Look, will you stop worrying about the time? Relax and enjoy yourself. Well, okay. That was a real good picture. Yeah, I liked it. What time is it? Oh, it's not late. You want to see any of the other pictures? I'm afraid we better not. Okay. Cartoon. Well, as long as we're going to stay, don't you think we ought to sit down? Oh, oh okay. We'll just stay and watch this cartoon. Then. You know, I think I like this picture better than the first one. We should have left after the cartoon. I wonder what time it is. Well, it's only about 11.30. Well, that's not too bad. Hey, you want to get something to eat? Gee, Rick, I'd like to, but I really should go over my notes at least once tonight. Well, it won't take very long. The mall shop's right on the way. Come on, you can order anything you want up to $1.37. <laughs> well, as long as you're going all out, how can I refuse? <laughs> so I wonder when our hamburgers are going to be ready. Jack? I'll be right with you, Rick. Okay, what do you have? You're getting kind of punchy, Jack. We ordered about 10 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, the grilled cheese. Uh, no, uh, two hamburgers. Oh, that's right. Gee, I left them at the wrong table. I'll get them for you. <laughs> well, I guess this just isn't my night. First, the freezer broke down. Then I ran out of hot dogs. And then the guy that does the dishes didn't show up till about five minutes ago. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. I'll get your hamburgers right away. Do you think maybe we ought to cancel the order? It's getting awfully late. Oh, it won't take very long. Look, I've got a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches coming up I can let you have right away. Well, don't they belong to somebody else? Yeah, but they've got your hamburgers. In other words, you're stuck with them. I guess you might say that. Okay, we'll take them. It'll just take a second. I'm waiting for some clean plates. 
Well, I'll bring them to you on a napkin. I'm sorry I ran out of gas. I thought I had plenty. That's okay. You better get going, though, before the house mother wakes up. She's a very light sleeper. Well, how are you going to get in? Don't worry. One of the girls will let me in. There's somebody at the door now. Good night. Uh, good night. Oh, oh, what time's your test tomorrow? Eight o'clock. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. That's okay. Thanks a lot, Rick. I had a real nice time. Oh, well, I'm glad you did. So did I. Good night. Good night. Uh, I hate to complain, but this isn't exactly what I expected for breakfast. <laughs> this is for the woman's club. We're eating out in the kitchen. Oh. Had me worried there for a minute. I'll bet. This looks more like it. Is Rick up yet? Well, he's up, but I'm not sure he's awake. <laughs> what happened to you? I thought you were going to get home early last night. Well, so did I, but a few things happened, like running out of gas. You mean you really ran out of gas? Yeah. Gee, I didn't get home until... Well, it, it was real late. Well, who'd you have a date with? Uh, Norma Lane. And she had an English test this morning, too. Well, she should have stayed home and studied. Well, she wanted to, but I'm afraid I talked her out of it. Oh. Gee, I sure hope she passes. If she doesn't, I'll kind of feel like it was my fault. Well, I don't see that. After all, it's her responsibility. If she had to study, she should have turned down the date. Well, oh, she did, but I talked her back into it. Well, she'll probably pass anyway. Well, I hope so. At any rate, I'll find out pretty soon. She'll be about finished by the time I get to school. Uh, if she doesn't fall asleep on her desk. Ginger, has Norma finished yet? We're still working on the test. Oh, well, how was it? Was it pretty tough? It was kind of tough for me. Of course, Norma studies a lot. It's probably easy for her. What are you doing here? Well, I just thought I'd come over and see how you made out on the test. How was it? Well, I don't know. Well, uh, how do you think you made out? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. To be honest with you, I don't feel too good about it. Oh, gee, that's too bad. There are a lot of questions you could answer in different ways. Well, uh, did you know most of the answers? Well, let's say I answered them all. Or at least I put something down. Well, I just hope you weren't too tired. Oh, no, I feel fine. I'm wide awake. But it was kind of a funny test. Here, look at number 18. Is that the test? Yeah. Oh, gee, I forgot to turn it in. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Lewis, I forgot something. Uh, good morning, Rick. Oh, hi, Professor. Uh, you waiting to see me? Uh, no, sir, I'm just waiting for a friend. Oh. Say, Rick, uh, how would you like to do a little favor for me? Oh, sure, I I'd be glad to. What is it? Well, I have kind of a busy schedule the next couple of days, and uh, I was wondering if you'd like to correct these tests for me. Oh, well, sure, uh, I guess so. I'm sure you can handle it. It's freshman English. As I recall, you got pretty good grades. Well, my brother did most of my homework, but I'll be glad to give it a try. Well, thanks, Rick. I sure appreciate it. Oh, and uh, here's a list of the correct answers. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, when do you want these back? Well, there's no hurry. Uh, tomorrow morning will be fine. <laughs> okay, they'll be on your desk. Thanks a lot, Rick. Professor Lewis, mm -hmm. I've looked all over in there. Where am I supposed to leave my test paper? Just give it to Mr. Nelson. He's going to correct them for me. See you tomorrow morning, Rick. Uh, yes, sir. You're correcting the test papers? Yeah, you just came out here and handed them to me. That means you'll be correcting my paper. Well, I, I will if you let me have it. I'd rather throw it in the wastebasket. Oh, you probably did a lot better than you think. Well, I hope so. Well, I have a class now. Me too. I guess I didn't play this very smart, huh? Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I'd known about this last night, I would have paid for the movie. Please, no bribes. Would you call me and let me know how I make out on it? Yeah, if you want me to. I'll call you just as soon as I correct it. I hope I did well on it. Well, I'm sure you did. Bye. Bye. Now, wait a second. Didn't we have this for breakfast? <laughs> Dinner's already. I just have to get these finished. It should be in the mail by tonight at the latest. Well, it looks like quite up. Are you hungry? Yes, I'm very hungry. Well, we'll eat a lot sooner if you'll help me get these finished. I don't know.
know why I fall for these traps. Because you're always hungry. So am I. Is dinner almost ready? Just about. Oh, how'd you make out with the tests? Oh, they went a lot faster than I thought. In fact, got them all finished. That is practically all of them. Oh, uh, good. Uh, how did uh, Norma finally make out, if you don't mind my asking? Well, believe it or not, she did real well. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, I know how concerned you were, especially since you felt kind of responsible. Well, yeah, actually, I haven't given her a mark yet. Oh, well, how come? Well, her paper's kind of hard to grade. In what way? Well, uh, she showed a lot of originality in her answers, uh, but some of them were a little different. She certainly made a lot of sense, though. Well, you mean different than the answers Professor Lewis gave you? Well, yeah. Uh, look at this one, for instance. Uh, define nuance. Well, uh, a nuance is a slight variation, uh, a shading, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's right. And that was the answer Professor Lewis gave. But she has a, a different answer. She says a nuance is a color. Well, that doesn't sound exactly right. Well, a, a color is a shade. Uh, coloring is shading. Well, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Uh, uh, what's the next one? Uh, give a synonym for insipid. And what's her answer? Uh, flat. Well, that's, uh, that's close to it. I'd say it'd be more like dull or, or tasteless. Well, yeah, but if it's dull or tasteless, it can certainly be flat. In fact, I think she's showing a lot of imagination here. Well, I, I think you have, too. Uh, what does it say in your list of answers there? Well, it says tasteless or unsavory. But I think flat's a good answer. I certainly can't mark it wrong. Well, you ought to know. Well, I think it shows a little more imagination to give an unusual answer rather than an obvious one. And I think some credit should be given to creative ability and thought. Anybody I know live here? Oh. Oh, hi, Dave. How's Junie? Just fine, I guess. We're just home long enough for a quick dinner, and I have to get back to work. Tonight? Uh, yeah, we've been kind of busy down there. I just wanted to bring Beth's repi, June Bar. Oh, there's no hurry. Well, I didn't want to lose it. Okay. Looks like you already have. Oh, here it is. Thank you. You sure you won't stay and have a bite to eat with us? Oh, uh, no thanks, Mom. I just finished. Besides, he said he has to get back to work tonight, and I don't think we're going to get to eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just for that, you start clearing this stuff off the table. It'd be a pleasure. Well, I guess I better get going. All right. It's nice to see you, dear. Bye-bye. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Give our best to Jim. Thanks as well. See you later. I think somebody at the back door, Harriet. I'll get it. Well, hi, Barry. Come on in. Thank you, Mrs. Nelson. What can I do for you? We the students of Mrs. McKinley's third grade class at Garner State Elementary School are having a paper drive. And we would appreciate your help. Thank you. Oh, well, sorry, honey, but we just threw out all our old papers. I think the morning paper's around here someplace, though. Come on in. Well, hello there, Barry. Hi, Mr. Nelson, Rick. Hi, Barry. We the students of Mrs. McKinley's third grade class at Gardner Street Elementary School are having a paper drive. And we would appreciate your help. Thank you. That's very good, Barry. Now, where's the morning paper? It was right here on the table. Here it is. There we are. Thanks, Miss Nelson. And if we find any more, we'll save them for you, Barry. Thanks a lot. Good night. Good night. night. Oh, uh, have you decided what you're going to give Norma on the test yet? Yeah, I've been thinking it over. I think I'll give her a B plus. A B plus? That's pretty good. You sure you're not being influenced just a little bit by the fact that she's an attractive girl and you kept her out late and she didn't get a chance to study as much as she should have? Well, uh, I don't think so. As I say, she gave some pretty unusual answers. Uh, very original. Well, I, I don't like to butt into this, but if Professor Lewis gave you a list of answers, those are the ones you should use. Well, yeah, but I'm sure he expected me to exercise a little judgment in borderline cases. And hey, this is funny. What's the matter? Well, now I can't find her test paper. Well, you had it there a minute ago. Yeah, I know it. Well, it must be on the table someplace. What are you looking for? You can't find Norma's test paper. You were reading from it a minute ago, weren't you? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Well, it must be here someplace. You don't suppose you sealed it in one of those envelopes, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> At least I hope not. I hope not, too. I'd hate to do that job over again. Gee, we got to find it. Well, look, it's, it's not on the table, and it's not under the table, and I hope it's not in one of these envelopes I sealed. Hey, maybe David picked it up. He had all those papers out here. Or Barry might have it. It could have gotten stuck in that newspaper you gave him. 
Well, look, uh, Rick, why don't you check with David, and I'll check with Barry. And Harriet, you better check the stove. I smell something burning. Oh, oh. Hi, Russ. Oh, hi, Dick. Uh, I was looking for Barry. Well, don't tell me you broke another window. Uh, no, <laughs> nothing like that. Now, he came over to our house collecting newspapers, and I'm afraid he might have picked up an important examination paper by mistake. Could I speak to him? Well, sure. He's right on the drive. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, hi, Barry. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Uh, say, uh, Barry, you remember that paper you picked up at our house a little while ago? Yes, sir. Uh, do you know where it is? Oh, sure. It's right here someplace. You want it back? Uh, no, I just want to look for something. Hey, Dave. Hi, Rick. What are you doing here? Well, I was correcting some test papers, and one of them's missing. I thought you might have picked it up by mistake. You mean just a little while ago? Yeah, they were all on the dining room table. Where's your briefcase? Well, it's over there, but that won't help you any. I've already put all the folders back in the files. Well, which file? Let's see. There was A, and there was F for Farnsworth. Then there was M. Or, or was it N? Well, don't you know? Well, no, not offhand. Now, here are the files. Help yourself. Thanks a lot. Well, look, Rick, I've got about four hours' work to do. Well, come on, David, will you? Well, why didn't you keep track of it? Well, did you say M? Yeah, I think it's M. Gee, I just had a happy thought. What's that? Well, uh, Mr. Kelly picked up one of the folders and took it with him. Well, uh, can't you call him at home or someplace? Well, yeah, you can call him in about three hours. He'll be landing in Kansas City. <laughs> oh, great. Well, there's one left. And it's not here. Well, I'll say one thing. This is the first time I've opened 50 envelopes without finding a single bill. <laughs> I'm sorry to put you and Mom in all this trouble. Oh, that's okay, dear. I just wish you could find the test. Uh, uh, well, wait a second. It's probably just as well we opened these anyway. It says here, Mrs. Peters has been serving the women's club faithfully for 81 years. <laughs> supposed to be 18 years. How is it possible for me to have lost that? Well, I know this sounds a little strange, but do you think maybe you subconsciously tried to lose the paper to avoid your responsibility? We all do things like that occasionally, you know. Well, yeah, but I'm giving her a B plus. Why should I want to lose the paper? Well, maybe you have a feeling of guilt because actually you don't think she deserves that high a mark. Well, in that case, all he has to do is give her a D and he'll find the paper again. Come on, Harry, this is serious. Well, do you really think I gave her too high a mark? Well, uh, I don't know. Some of her answers seemed a little vague. Well, uh, maybe so, but that doesn't mean they're wrong. Well, no, I just mean... Well, I know you felt a, a certain degree of responsibility because you kept her out late. Well, I know, but I wouldn't let anything like that influence me. At least not intentionally. Well, I looked the test over very carefully. I'm sure she deserves a B. Or at least a, a B minus. Professor Lewis? Oh, good morning, Rick. Good morning. I have the test right here. Good. Get them all finished? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Have any trouble? Well, uh, not exactly, except I lost one of the tests. Oh, that's too bad. Do you remember the grade on it? Uh, yes, sir. Good. I better mark it down before I forget it. Uh, whose test was it? Uh, Norma Lane. Mm -hmm. What did she get? Well, uh, her test was uh, kind of hard to grade. Oh, in what way? Well, uh, her approach to the questions. Uh, she showed a lot of originality, but her answers were sort of unusual. Uh, I guess you might say kind of vague. Uh, they didn't coincide exactly with the answers you gave me. I see. Uh, what uh, grade did you give her? Well, I, I gave it a lot of thought, and I, uh, I tried to be completely honest and objective. Oh, I'm sure you did. Well, I, I guess a D would be about right. A D? Uh, yes, sir. That's strange. She's one of my best students. Well, uh, maybe it wasn't her fault. Maybe there was some reason why she couldn't study the night before. Something beyond her control. Well, it's too bad you lost a paper. I'd like to take a look at it. Well, it, it could be in Kansas City. <laughs> well, that was just one of the possibilities. Uh, it's sort of a long story. The main thing is it's lost. Wait a second. Here it is right here. Are you sure? 
Well, it says Norma Lane. It's funny, I looked all through those several times. I wonder how I could have missed it. You haven't put a grade on it. Well, uh, no, sir, I was trying to make up my mind. Hmm, this answer seems to be right. Give a synonym for insipid. Flat. And this, uh... Well, it's rather an unusual approach, but I don't think I'd mark it wrong. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I was a little undecided about that one myself. And, uh, take a look at number five. Well, that's correct. And, uh, number seven? Yeah, that's okay. Well, it's not the best answer, but she has a general idea. Are you sure you corrected this paper? Well, uh, maybe I was a little confused. I think we number 20. It must have put you on an awful spot correcting my test paper. Well, let's say it was interesting, but I wouldn't want to do it again. I was afraid you might be prejudiced because it was me. Well, when you're grading test papers, you have to be fair. Now, actually, Professor Lewis helped me grade your paper. Well, it sure is wonderful. I was kind of guessing at a lot of the questions. I must admit, I didn't expect you to get an A. What's that? Time to go home. I've got another test tomorrow. I might have known. Oh, don't tell me. What's the matter? Oh, great. Look at this rear tire. What's the matter with it? That's insipid. It's what? It's flat. Gee, that's a shame. Well, fortunately, I have a spare. It won't take me long to change it. Well, that's okay. Take your time. I came prepared. 